Hi, my name is Anne Matthews, and this is a presentation for a proposed research project as part of my third year university course, Music Research Project. The research title of the proposed research project is Music Education in Rural South Australia, an ethnographic study of two primary school choirs. The overarching research question is, what is the current state of choral music education in the rural primary schools of South Australia? From that overarching question, several sub-questions were developed. What are the characteristics, including resourcing, of two primary school choirs in rural South Australia? Are there any significant differences between the two rural primary school choirs in answering the above question? And what are the benefits and disadvantages of running a rural primary school choir? The research objectives are to determine and compare the characteristics of two primary school choirs in rural South Australia, to determine and compare the resourcing of the personnel, their training, the equipment and the pedagogical materials involved in running those two primary school choirs, and to explore any key benefits and disadvantages of the primary school choirs being in a rural location. The existing literature on choral music education is focused heavily on the benefits such an education can bring to a student. The academic literature proves that benefits are found in the academic, social, cognitive and interpersonal areas of students' lives. This contextualises the importance of studying choral education in rural areas, which are often disadvantaged and in need of the benefits a choral education can offer. International studies in Canada and the United States offer some academic insights to key elements of a rural music, specifically choral, education. These insights include Recognising the importance of the rural communities and the choir teacher in the running of a successful choral education program and the need to differentiate uniquely rural educational needs from global and urban priorities is also emphasised. The international scholars also lament the lack of rural music education, academic studies and urge for more investigations. Despite the proven benefits of choral education and international calls for study, there is scant academic research regarding choirs in rural Australian schools. The existing literature focuses on successful music education outreach programs in New South Wales and South Australia, but without a choral focus. There are also studies available regarding the resources available for music teachers and school programs, life in a regional conservatorium in New South Wales, and rural boys' participation in choir in New South Wales. There is a significant gap regarding choral music education in rural South Australian schools. Notwithstanding this gap, the choral education is, choral education is steadfastly recommended in government-led proposals and policies. The 2005 Australian Government's National Review of School Music Education and the 2011 proposal for a national cultural policy submission by the Music Council of Australia both endorsed choral education as essential for every child's music education. In 2019, the South Australian Government activated their 10-year music education strategy to provide goals, funding and resources to support the growth of music education with the hopes that rural areas will directly benefit. Meanwhile, the Primary Schools Music Festival is a state heritage icon providing quality choral music education into government primary schools all over the state every year. Upon reviewing the literature, it is evident that whilst the benefits of choral music education are academically thoroughly covered, there is a significant gap of academic study regarding choirs in rural schools, especially in Australia. The current situation of the South Australian policies and strategy combined with rural primary schools currently involving their choirs in the Primary Schools Music Festival make this an, ide an ideal area of academic study. The research approach for this project would be ethnographic. This qualitative study would be a 12 month research project from January to December next year. It would involve two different rural primary schools as subjects for the ethnographic study. As the lead researcher, I would immerse in naturalistic settings visiting with each school, including their attendance at the Primary Schools Music Festival in Adelaide for significant periods of time throughout the year. The ethnographic approach was decided upon in order to facilitate a grounded theory data analysis method. This would be a successful way to learn from the individuals involved in these rural primary school choirs, 
for their cultural insider knowledge of the current state of music education in rural South Australia. The research methods of the ethnographic approach would include participatory observation, record making, interviews, surveys and questionnaires. This combination would ensure the interpretation of the research is based on an adequate range of supporting data, methods and contexts. The participant observation will allow for prolonged engagement with the rural choirs, resulting in detailed and comprehensive primary data. Interviews with key personnel would be conducted, including Adelaide-based subject matter experts who are involved in outreach programs to the rural schools in question. The interviews, surveys, questionnaires and objective data gathering from observations will ensure primary data authenticity. The data analysis method used would be grounded theory. This is where there would be no pre-existing hypothesis nor theory before the ethnographic research commences. An appropriate theory about rural school choirs would evolve from the constant data collection and analysis as the ethnographic research unfolds over the year. A helix model as a framework for inquiry would be used, where there is constant data comparison, theory revision and new data gathered. This would create a progression towards a substantive theory. Open and selective coding would allow for the helix model to function throughout the year, eventually producing a grounded theory to present to the academic community. As an example, a small case study was conducted. An ethnographic approach requires talking directly with key personnel. So Anna Davidson, a choir teacher in Kimba, was interviewed, as was Emily Dolman, director of the Open Music Academy based in Adelaide. In analysing their interviews, there were several key coding opportunities. For example, both interviewees named the primary school's music festival repertoire books as an essential resource for rural primary school choirs. This resource, one of many, would receive a code and contribute towards a grounded theory being developed around the benefits, disadvantages, resources used, resources wanted, and the general condition of choirs in rural South Australian primary schools. Here are the references used for the research project. Please pause uh, to get any details as needed. Thank you.